Hello. Okay. Yet no intro thing for this because I still got like the old schedule thing from last week up. And I'm too lazy to do something about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do this. Just doing the um, okay, okay, to do a review copy was provided by the developer. Okay, also I just want to make sure I'm not, like, messing up the description here. I say woodland critters, but do cows, can you really consider them woodland? No, I'll just say forest. Okay. I'm a professional, by the way. Alright, the game will be starting up soon okay I was also just replying to oh yeah okay uh, I I have priorities. I am maybe I should actually start the game up while I'm busy replying to people. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay. Oh god. Full screen. Good music, by the way. Should probably turn it down a bit. Okay. And I'm just getting it off full screen. Are you serious? Why is it? I want to search. The game itself, like just the look of it, gives me Night in the Woods vibes. Okay, I hate that I can't do this in, like, 
a windowed mode where I can. <sighs> ah, I hate being a streamer with just one monitor. God, this is the worst. Okay, um, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm just gonna have to pull out my work laptop. It is what it is. This is okay. What we got on accessibility? Ooh, dyslexia mode. Simple mini games, player guidance. Okay. I'm gonna assume dyslexia mode um, chain like gets rid of stylized font and adjusts like text spacing. Okay. Alrighty. So, hello, everybody. Okay. Just pulling it up on my uh, laptop here so I won't be seeing chat for a while. But yeah, let's go. Fall Porcupine, a review copy of the game was provided to me by the developer. It looks good. Well, Porcupine is a story set in a healthcare environment. Oh, God. That's Maceo. Um, no, we're muting him. Um, it contains plot points that deal with issues relating to stress, illness, death, and self-doubt, among other things. Please pause the game if you feel unwell and consider contacting family, friends, or a professional for support. Okay. Hi, Phoenix. Okay. Is we dead? No, okay, I'm living. Are you playing the demo? Mm-hmm. Um. Oh. Shit. Okay, wait. Um. Just bear with me for one more moment. I... Why is nothing working properly here? Okay. Did to do. Copy. Right. <laughs> okay. Just doing a chat message oh they added a new mob in Minecraft that's actually surprising I thought they were kind of like done well, that's good okay like genuinely I thought they were kind of like done adding new things so that is neat Okay. I can jump. Oh, they finally added camels? Could have sworn that was already, like, a mod. I don't know. People mod in a ton of stuff into Minecraft. Oh, it's daytime. The art's good. Hey, Finley, you're finally awake. Oh, so... I have no idea why that, like heart thing shows up on chat all the time now. There we go. Um. Why the long face? 
Oh, nothing. I... I just wasn't expecting to run into my house plant. What did you expect? Your washer, maybe? By the way, we gotta talk about her. The way my pot vibrates when you set her to spin. What? No. I don't know. I think I'm looking for something. Oh, really? What would that be? I have no idea. But it was important. And I think I've lost it. Well, if you don't remember, it couldn't have been that important. I'm sure it can wait, buddy. You think so? Of course. Come on, relax. Just take a look at this meadow. Bask in the lush grass, soak up the sun, and groove to the soothing tunes, dude. How can you worry when you see that? Yeah, it's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure I hear any music, though. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. There we go. Better. Yes, I like this. <laughs> Coolamundo. Just let your leaves dangle. I don't have leaves. Just let your worries take a hike, man. Yes. Yes, I should do that. I just need to relax a little bit. Great, that's what I want to hear. Lost things just turn up eventually. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home, my man. I might. I'm gonna have a little look around. It's so beautiful here, I want to pick my spot carefully. Choice is all yours, just relax your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, Finno. Are we hallucinating because plants don't usually talk? Or so I've heard. Well, hello there, hombre. We meet again. How's the relaxation coming along? Did you find the person you were looking for? Um... I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Person? Yeah, he just said he was looking for a thing, not a person. What? Oh, don't mind me. Ain't this place sweet? We're all having a great time, am I right? So what are you gonna do now? I don't know yet. Who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him. That's Hugo. We went to university together. He's great to climb around on. He used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore, though. Not since I had aphids. Wanna give it a try? Sure, why not? But I don't think I can get past that giant flower. Hold on, we'll have that sorted in no time. See? No problemo. No problemo? The whole ground was shaking. Hugo's quite ticklish. You need to be careful when you climb on him. And don't break any of his leaves off. He prides himself on his great foliage, you know? That word always screws me up because of the Simpsons. With Marge saying, FOILAGE! Alright. So we're climbing. I think my character might be having a hallucination, but you never know. See, there's a flower pot up there. Oh, okay, never mind. Hello, Finstar. Up here. Oh, how'd you get all the way up there? I'm a plant of many talents. I'm not allowed to climb here anymore, so I had to come up with another solution. What do you want to do? I don't know yet. Maybe I want to dive into that water? For real? I thought we were going to chill, man. Besides, that looks mighty deep. I think so, yeah. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. I just want to check it out. Well, whatever floats your boat, chief. Get it, because water. I'm more of a partial shade kind of fella. Besides, I'm prone to overwatering. Right. Alright, jump in the water, I guess. Okay, the water effect is good.
there you are. You, you know me, I never press up a, a good time. Are you freezing? I'm going to get you cold. Then you'll need to take care of me. Go shopping for me. Do my taxes. The water's lovely. I don't know what you're going on about. No! I don't like water. So you want me to stop watering you then? That's different. You, you wouldn't get it. It's a flower thing. Mm-hmm. Actually, maybe we could get out of here. All right, all right. In a pumpkin pie, Minecraft accidentally composted it. <laughs> the downside of having everything assigned to, like, one action button. Is that the statue from the town square? Are you in charge of the water here? Can you hear me? I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it? Okay, yeah. I think my character is having, like, an LSD trip. He's talking to statues now. No response. How rude. I really do need to get back to Minecraft one day. It's been forever. Like, when I last played it, the end wasn't even a thing. <laughs> That's how long it's been. The Finmeister, there you are. What took you so long, bud? You're looking better again. Hey, who can be down when you're down at the beach? That moment when the excess water disappears. You feel the first tickles of photosynthesis kick in. There's nothing like it, man. God. We had to learn so much about photosynthesis in all my science classes, and, like, none of that knowledge was pertinent <laughs> for everyday life. <sighs> and was at least ten updates ago. I know! That's just how long it's been since I last played. Like... Because I didn't have computers that could run it really well, and then, yeah, I just kind of stopped playing it for a while, and yeah, I just need to get back to it now. I just can't get enough. I forget everything around me. Who are you again? Finley, you live at my place. Pina gave you to me. You're from her flower store. Finley, Fondly, Dingly, Dongly. All well, the same to me right now. Oh, yeah. This place seems kind of familiar. Have you been here before? Maybe, but not like this. I sure do have some strange thoughts, mister. So have you found what you're looking for yet? Dude, it's only been like 10 seconds since you last saw me underwater. No. But I don't think I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone. Well, congrats! You found someone! Your very best flower buddy. Now kick back, grab a cold one, and sink it to the sandy embrace, dude. We haven't had a vacation in forever. I... I'll be right there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for here on the beach. Alrighty, but don't get sunburned. I ain't no aloe vera if you're catching my drift. Can birds get sunburned? They kind of got all those feathers. Okay. Bounce house? Was this what I was looking for? Or not? Stroke is more likely to say way more freedom finding shade than we do. That's fair. Okay, maybe I need to jump on top. Called it. Oh, am I in heaven now? 
chairs, plant, weird cloud creature. Ingrid, nice to see you here. Do you happen to know where? Where Mr. Arndez is? Mr. Arndez, I was looking for Mr. Arndez. He's a patient of ours. And he disappeared. I was taking the elevator. And something went wrong. I have to find Mr. Arndez. Otherwise, something will happen to him. Sorry, Ingrid. You know how much I enjoy our conversations. But I've got a feeling something's happened to Mr. Arndez. We'll catch up again soon, I promise. Playing a pigeon who's high on LSD. <laughs> I mean, he's high on something. This this isn't this isn't normal right here. And again, I don't know what pigeons do in their free time, so maybe this is normal. I know they make bad nests in their free time. Seriously, pigeon nests are like the most hilarious thing. They'll just do like two twigs on like a flat surface. And it's like all right, there's my nest. Mr. Arndis has to be here somewhere. Hello, Mr. Arndis? Can you hear me? Is this the hospital from Halloween? Okay. Run and jump. I can do that. I was born for that. Pigeon two eggs are still outside. I'm like going down your chimney in their free times. Sometimes falling down it. <laughs> okay, this looks like blood. Hello? Is someone there? There are boxes full of documents and folders on the old hospital bed. Strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own take on interior design. Oh, you sweet summer child. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should... Ugh. There's someone back there. Mr. Arndis, is that you? Yo, Mr. Arndis! Oh my god, there that is, that is a lot of blood. That's... blood. It's still fresh. Mr. Arndes, did you get shot and you're just, like, walking through the... Okay, did you have, like, an arm cut off? Jesus Christ. Mr. Arndes, you're bleeding. Don't move. Uh... What? Who... Who are you? Just stay calm. I'm gonna help you. Is anyone there? We need some help here. Hello? Uh oh. I think he got knocked out. Or is flatlining? Oh no, that's a phone alarm, okay. Also, can't say I've ever had a bird get into the house, but I know my sister at her old house, an owl got in. And, like, she called my brother for help. He came over. And then, like, another friend of the family was there and was like, Oh, look at the beak on that thing! And then he ran into the, uh, like, whatchamacallit, bedroom and locked himself there until my sister was able to get the owl out herself. Not my brother's best moment. And he likes to call me a coward. Mm-hmm. Okay. Brother doesn't even get a picture. Yep. 
We're feeling well again. Glad you're back to work today. Maybe we'll have time to chat and you can finally tell me all about what happened. Okay, let's look at the chat history here. Finley, Dr. Krakowski asked me to send you my number. Hello, Mia. Thanks. Here's my number, too. Looking forward to working with you. Me, too. See you tomorrow. Get well soon, Finley. I just heard what happened. Should I be worried? How bad's the injury? Thanks. Don't worry. I'm fine. I'll just rest up for a few days, then I'll be back at work. Hope you've got not got too much work covering for me. Okay, so apparently I got injured. So maybe that was like an injury dream. And a pigeon flew into a window. Oh, that's nice. Okay, this is a lot. Finley, here's my number. Feel free to come to me if you have any questions. Yesterday was fun. You're a cool guy. Let's go back to Gilbert's next time our Rotas line up. Rotas? Rotas? Eh. Yes, it was fun. Hehe. <laughs> Things got pretty heated, though. Well, that's normal. You'll get used to it. Hey, Finley, how's your head? Carl, I'm alright. Thanks. Head's still throbbing a bit. How's the ward? Sorry, I'm off work so soon after starting. Don't worry. Could have happened to anyone. Besides, you were only trying to help me find Mr. Arndes. Still feel bad about it. Forget about it. Order yourself a pizza instead. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, I'm going to order me a pizza for movie night on Saturday. I also may visit a carnival that's uh, in town because I just really want a fresh elephant ear and or a pretzel and or the good fries that they put like the vinegar on. Oh, man. I don't <laughs> I'm not even going to the carnival for the rides. I just want an elephant ear, man. They're good. Pina like pina colada. Uh, pina here thought I'd text you. So you have my number? How's it going? We're keeping you busy. Hey, Pina. Yeah, definitely. You should calm down soon, though. How are things at the store? The Monstera Deliciosas are arguing over who has the pretty sleeves again. Apart from that, not much going on. Just getting for taking me out today. My hangover is really nasty, but the fresh air did me good. Sure thing. <laughs> we can do it again when you got time. I'm always going up to the woods anyway. Plans for my job, you know? Sure, let's do it. Open parentheses. Hope things are better with you. What? What happened? Box fell on my head. Got a nasty cut. Well, Finley, you need to be more careful. Do you need anything? Nah, I think I'm fine. Okay, I'll be driving out of town again in a few minutes. Is it okay if I stop by and bring you something on the way? Um, alright, what is it? A gift. Okay, sounds intriguing. Thanks for stopping by. It was really great to see you. And thanks for the little plant, too. I'll take good care of it. And have acid dreams about it. Regular light, not too much water. And empty the satchel I gave you into the soil three days from now. Crazy you didn't have any plants until now, by the way. I can't imagine what that's like. Yeah, don't know what it's like to not have plant. Well, no, we do have plants. They're just kind of, like, out of the way down in the, like, kitchen. But, all right. Got it. I remember. Mom. Oh, Lord. This is a lot from Mom. Hey, did you get there okay? You didn't let us know. Hi, Mom. Sorry, the move was pretty hectic, but we're done now. Starting to unpack my boxes. It's great, sweetie. Hope you enjoy Porcupine. Oh, that's the name of the town. Okay. We'll come and visit soon. Please get in touch if you need anything. I'll do that, I promise. Thank you, Mom. Look for your first day at work. You've got this. Thanks. I'm a little nervous, but really looking forward to it. Hope my ward's nice in the cafeteria, of course. You're going to be a great doctor. We're very proud of you. I see how to go. Hey, hey, it was really cool, but also exhausting. So I'm going to pack a few more boxes, but I think I'll just head straight to bed. Do that. You deserve some downtime. The boxes will still be there tomorrow. Good night. I heard from you in ages. Is everything okay? Hi, Mommy. Everything's fine. Just lots going on. Sorry. Works harder than I expected. Feels like I don't have time for anything else. Well, new starts are always tough. I'm sure it'll get better. How are you doing? We're on vacation. Nice and sunny here. Just on our way to the beach. Sounds great. It's nice here, too. Definitely fall, but still quite warm. Try to make a few friends. It's all going pretty well. It's great, sweetie. People from work. Yeah, me and Carl work my ward. They're really cool. But I've met some other people, too. Even went to the woods here with a new friend. That was really nice. Sorry, I had no reception all day. That's really great. Knowing you're happy makes me happy, too. Wow, what it's like to have a normal parent. <laughs> uh, hey, sweetheart, back home now. Hope you're doing well and managing to take a break. Yeah, actually taking an unscheduled break right now. Had a little accident at work. On sick leave for a few days. What? What's wrong? Do you need me to come over? Everything's fine, just a bump on the head, nothing serious. I can be there on the next train. What do you need? 
Will you have someone to do your shopping for you? It's fine, Mom. Okay, but let me know if you need anything. Okay. I'll be there right away. Will do. Thanks, Mom. Brother. Yeah. Hey, big brother. Happy birthday. How's things going well? Hey, Finley. Doing just fine. Thanks. Happy birthday, Finley. Hey, Thackens. At a bar celebrating. Lots of people here. Somebody turned off autocorrect. Okay, have one for me. Hey, hey there. Hurry. You be home for Dad's birthday this year. No, I can't make it. I'm on vacation right now. Oh, too bad. Dang. All right. Curse. No tasks. Mia started as an intern on the same day I did. It's her first job, too. But I'm impressed by how much theoretical knowledge she has. I think I can learn a lot from her. Carl. Oh, he's a sheep. Okay, I was like, what is that picture? Carl's a nurse on my ward. He approached me on my first day after talking directly to Dr. Krokowski. He's been at St. Ursula's for a long time. He knows his stuff very well. I'm very happy to be able to work with him. He is well known and loved by most people in Porcupine. He took me to Gilbert's. I met some new people from Porcupine. He, th they're doing some death flags there. Are people gonna die? I met Pina on my way to work. She's very nice and has a flower shop in Porcupine. And she's my first real contact here. Ingrid, today I entered the hospital as a resident for the first time. Ingrid welcomed me and roughly explained everything to me. She's the heart of St. Ursula's. I'm just concerned about her snacking and coffee consumption. Mind your own business there, guy. Krakowski. Dr. Krakowski is my senior resident. She heads internal medicine one on the third floor. I'll tell you how it is. I'm a little scared of her. During my first few days, she made a lot of demands of me. I tried to live up to her standards, but I don't always succeed. No. No help. All right. Man, another of those weird dreams. I feel really groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up sleeping altogether. I'm already ahead of you there, guy. Oof. Okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. Was it a dream? Wake up from Finley's nightmare. There you are. Just standing there in your pot as if nothing happened. You're giving me quite the restless night. It's alright for you. You don't have to go to work. If I find beach sand in your pot tonight, there'll be trouble. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know, or I heard talking to plants helps them grow, but... That's a bit much. I used to game with my roommate every night when we were at university. She always kicked my butt in the one-on-one -on -one Viking battles. I figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work. Fat chance. I haven't touched the thing since I moved in. Poser. Alright. Instantaneously got dress. I got a heap of mail when I first moved here. Porcupine isn't big, but it was still kind of nice. A bus timetable, a sightseeing guide, and a trial description subscription to the daily newspaper. Maybe I'll become a newspaper reader one day. Then I can buy a pair of glasses like Ingrid's. What year does this take place? Do people still read newspapers? I tried to be a newspaper reader for a while in high school. It was pretty boring. Yeah, the Night in the Woods vibes are off the charts. Some people have a bakery within walking distance. Or a grocery store. I have a used clothes container. Different, but just as practical. Okay, let me make sure I'm not... Fall of... Porcupine... Developed by Critical Rabbit. Who is based in Cologne, Germany. Previously known as 
Buntspect games. Okay, they are not related to the Night in the Woods team, but this game has been compared to Night in the Woods. Okay. I don't know where I'm going, I'm just going this way. kind of nice watching the trains chug off into the distance. Seeing a train always makes me want to go traveling myself. I can't just jump down. I gotta do a little bit of that then. Man, that stinks. Either there's standing water in there that's been there for years, or it's home to an evil clown with terrible halitosis. You better put some respect on Pennywise's name. Someone seems to have set up a fishing spot here. There's a note on the camp chair. Dear readers, time and place are two loose threads that don't always come together. Some call it destiny, I call it chaos. Order. Life. And you, seeing this note right now, are part of it. Consider yourself lucky. But please don't sit in my chair. I'll know right away if you take my place. Regards, F. Looks like this is already reserved. Yeah, the art style is really good. I would not be shocked if there are, like, plushes of some of the characters. This seems like it would be prime, like, plush game. Also, the more I think about it, I think this is the first game I've ever played where I play as a pigeon. Huh. That bike's been there ever since I moved in. So either someone moved and forgot it, or it's not biking season here. If it's still there come winter, I'll take it with me and get it fixed up. Well, the bike lock is on it, so you're not going to get it far. Oh my god, look at the mailman. Morning, Finley! You're running late! Hey, Susie. Yeah, I had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Most nights I don't dream at all. But sometimes I dream that I'm running, just on the spot, for no reason. <laughs> that definitely comes from work. I heard Louis Colbert is having trouble sleeping too. He's worried about the store. People just don't buy as much stationery as they used to. I mean, I'm not complaining, less for me to carry, right? Are you doing your rounds already? Well, you know me better than that. I'm finished already, just wondering what to have for lunch. Lunch? You really have an odd routine. Well, the post won't post itself. True, but I should post myself to the hospital, that is. Don't let me stop you, don't get lost now. That's what happens when you don't know the town as well as I do. <sighs> Susie. Is the only mail carrier in Porcupine. <laughs> Susie already. She knows everyone, perhaps a little too well. Get the impression that she's a little too nosy for her own good. She's just a happy dog. Like the, I, the thing of like, oh, I sometimes dream I'm just running. Like, yeah, that's a dog. <laughs> dog dreams are always hilarious. Here's a note here. Unfortunately, the citizen's bus is out of service until further notice. We ask for your understanding. Look on the bright side. With fuel prices the way they are, walking's the better option anyway. Hope to see you traveling with us again soon. Suits me just fine. Why not buy a monthly pass if the bus only turns up once a month? <laughs> His reactions are so good. From here, I can get to the old town and the high street. It's weird what passes for a high street in a small town. Well, I know that penis store is there, but I should check out the street when I'm free sometime. The old town lives up to its name, at least. 
small crooked old houses, the town hall, the town fountain, and Gilbert's, of course, the best and only pub in Porcupine. Best of all, both routes lead to St. Ursula's Hospital. Alright, we'll take the north path and then double back and take the south. <laughs> I want to live. It does look peaceful. Well, I wouldn't mind it either if the rent's looking good. I mean, I was about to say, like, he could afford it. He is a doctor. But you also got, like, you know, a regular, like, flower shop person living here. And, I mean, I don't think flowers are bringing in that much money. So, hey, you know, maybe it's working out well. Goodness, you're a fast walker. Are you being chased by a rolling boulder? No, that would be Crash Bandicoot. Good morning. No, no, I'm just running late. Late for an appointment, is it? You know, the more time passes, the less I believe in the idea. What idea? The idea of being late. <laughs> Are you new here? I've never seen you before. Yes, actually, I started at St. Ursula's Hospital a few weeks ago. So you're a doctor? Yes, well, almost. A junior doctor. It's marvelous. People like you are just what porcupine needs. My name is Adele Von... Oh. Oh, okay. She, I guess that is a dress and she is wearing pearls. I just saw the beard and I was like, okay, but no, goats. Yeah. My name is Adele Von Wetterstein. I bring you pies old and said it said. I've seen many people come and go. Somewhere to hurry. Some have stayed to this day. You, I'm guessing you're the hurrying type. Am I right, doctor? Yes, but only because I need to get to work. Well, one should never throw rocks to the rushing rapids. But wait, you have a moment sometime. I know a lot about this town. You can always ask me if you have any questions. I might just take you up on that. Thanks for the offer. I see it as my calling. But for now, full steam ahead. There are younger folk than me to keep alive here. Dang, that sounded bleak. Adele von Winterstein, graceful, elegant, eccentric. Met her this morning at the market. She seemed to know a lot about Porcupine's history. I never much care for history myself, but I'd love to know a bit more about my new hometown. If I find the time, I should talk to her some more. That's Gilbert's. It's a pretty good place to go. Not that there are any alternatives, really. I'll be back here soon enough. Ooh, we alcoholic up in here? Good morning, Juliana. Long well, time no see, Finley. Yeah, I was laid up in the bed for a while. Thought as much bed aid gives you away. It ain't good with you. I'll be alright, yeah. I'm sure you will. If you want to cool that lump in your head with a nice cold drink, just come by any time, okay? Thanks, Juliano. I might just take you up on that. Just meeting all the people. I like good old Juliano a lot. He owns Gilbert's, the only bar in Porcupine. Been there once or twice already, had a reasonably good time. We once got into an argument with someone called Ralph, but I guess that's to be expected when you're the owner of a bar. Plus, he's actually pretty laid back. Funny enough, I've never been to a, a bar in adulthood. I, no, scratch that. I've been to one. Because it was like a half day at, at work. And there's a bar around the corner from our parking structure. But I just went there and got food. Never been back since. It was kind of the. Oh, yeah, there. Brewdog. I mean, that seemed more like a restaurant than a bar. Good night, Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, one day, one day I will be able to have, like, more, well, like, UK-friendly streams. Outside of the weekends only. That's the big town fountain. It's the statue of Nino Slav or Honoratus, founder of Porcupine. What's up, Nino? Why isn't the water running? Seems to be broken. But yeah, I mean, like, that seemed more like a restaurant than a 
bar, but I guess bars can have tables. Alright. Outside of that, the only other bars I'd ever been to were in, like, when I was a kid. <laughs> and my, there was one, like, across the street from what ended up being the high school I went to. My dad would go there every now and then and just hanging out. The food was good. It was also the only place I had ever seen, like, a cigarette vending machine. God, that was a relic. This rusty old truck wasn't here last time I came to work. It's locked, too. Suspicious. What are you hiding, rusty old truck? It's the time that we went, it was definitely a bar that happens to do food. <laughs> Treasure, perhaps? A dead body? Maybe even ten dead bodies? Is there a super secret alien technology inside you? Are you the truth of all things? The answer to the great questions of the universe? Come on, reveal your secrets. Okay. Oh, nothing to examine there. There's a plaque on the tree. This ancient bark has stood here since the foundation of the town of Porcupine. You know Slav Onoratus, the founder, founder of Porcupine, planted it himself. He was known to misplace and lose things. He reached this place after wandering for 100 days. He founded the town and built himself a house. And on the day he wanted to move in, he lost his keys. Forty days later, he found them on this very spot. Sounds like something I would do. Dang, like, finding your keys 40 days later? That's bad. Good morning, Mr. Bus Stop. I'd love to have been hopping off here some time ago. Coffee in hand, nice and relaxed. Well, maybe tomorrow. You can't slack off every day, Mr. Bus Stop. St. Ursula's Hospital. You squeal, we heal. <laughs> I don't think that's a good tagline for a hospital. Is that St. Ursula? Statues out here every day. From dawn to dusk, come rain or shine. It's never complained. How do you do it? Regular sleep, probably. Balanced meals. Exercise three times a week. Well, a guy can dream. I, I saw somebody posting about it like the other day about like why so many hospitals are like Catholic. They're always named after saints and stuff. This hospital isn't huge. Still, you can get lost here from time to time. It's not a problem until you accidentally end up on the operating table. That's why you should always pay attention to the science, kids. Cause yeah, like they're like they tend to be named after like saints and stuff. I should really get to work. Okay, but I also want to explore the other part of road that I didn't go down. They're probably not gonna let me go back. It is what it is. Yep, all right. Fair enough. Oh yeah, while I'm running back... What's going on at PySci this week? Because I have not been checking lately. Are we... 
Oh, we moved on the summer menu. Oh, no, we've already been on summer menu. Monster Squad is the brunch, one of the brunch pizzas. Garlic oil, mozzarella, Munster cheese, chorizo, or tofu bacon, green pepper, white onion, over easy egg, holy valentina drizzle. Holy shit, that sounds good. Shrimp biscuit, amazing. Cajun cream sauce, mozzarella, barbecue shrimp, cheddar cheese, biscuit crumbles, scrambled eggs, green onion, lemon wedge. Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. Yes. Shortcake and bake, fresh strawberry sauce, sponge cake crumbles, whipped vegan cheesecake, and pomegranate molasses drizzle. Huh. That could be good. I absolutely hate the um, weekly special because it's a little too on the nose with a movement that's been happening in the Discord. But the pizza is called In a Pickle. Dill crust, red sauce, mozzarella, pickles, pepperoni, and feta. Amazing. Amazing. Anyway, let's go in. The good old vending machine. A handy source of breakfast. Or an end of shift reward. Of course, it's been broken ever since I started here. But hey, it's important to have con constants in life. Still, I wouldn't say no to a chalk dog right now. Every morning they gleam through the glass laughing at me. Just like they've been doing since before I was even born. And still will be long after I'm gone. They'll outlive us all. Thousands of years from now, alien beings will dig up this vending machine. What was that machine's purpose? What primitive civilization created it? That's what they'll ask themselves. Perhaps with their advanced technology, they'll be able to actually get at the tasty treats. Got a long way to go, vending machine. Hey, if only changing clothes could be that fast. <sighs> Wish I had easy access to a vending machine. I didn't know how good I had it at the university. Especially since, like, two of the, like, things were broken. So you could always just, like, not insert money and just press that, um, button thing. And you would just get, like, free Sour Patch Kids. Oh, it was amazing. Morning, kiddo. So you're back, huh? Morning, Ingrid. Yes, my injury's healing up nicely now. I heard about your accident, of course. Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened up there on the fifth floor. Yeah, me too. You want to hear my theory? All right, go on. Um, yeah. In an instant ramen machine. That sounds amazing. Because it was like... We had vending machines... Like regular vending machines... In every building. Quite literally... Every single building on campus... Had a vending machine. Like, even the building... Where like the offices... For the professors were. Um, like... I worked in where the, um, like, econ department was, and, yeah, like, that vending machine, free Sour Patch Kids, it was amazing. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that. Ugh. But the evidence speaks for itself. I've thought it through several times, and it all makes sense. So what do you think? I've only known you for a few weeks now. But it must have something to do with you specifically. Really? What do you mean? Well, we have a name for that kind of thing here in Porcupine. A sophisticated technical term that aims to define the social and the anthropological characteristics of the phenomenon. What? The term is... Klutz. I don't like Ingrid. Just kidding, kiddo. <laughs> How's Mr. Arndis? The old Duffer's still alive. Making himself cozy in his bed. Oh my god, they spell cozy with an S. They're British. Wait, no, this is German developed, so, okay. Alright, never mind. It's German developed. Makes sense. 
uh, in his bed on your ward again. Phew, okay, I'm really glad to hear that. You've only been here a short while. But because of that night, people know you now. You're the boy who lived. Very funny. <laughs> but seriously, people might still have questions for you. Just so you know, better be prepared. Anyway, my coffee's getting cold. And you need to swing your butt on over to your ward. On the third floor, in case the dent in your noggin caused more damage than we thought. Yeah, we do spell it correctly here when uncertain. I know where my ward is. That's good. Hop to it then before Dr. Krakowski rips your head off. You're right. I'll get going. Um, did I enter the hospital's resident for the first time? Ingrid welcomed me and roughly explained everything. She's I already know that about Ingrid, though. Okay. But yeah, um, every building had a snack and a drink vending machine for that matter. The main building with, like, all of the, um, like, major classrooms for the gen ed, um, classes had, like, a lot of snack vending machines, multiple drink vending machines, you know, like, one of the fancy ones that slides your drink out, and then, like, the regular one where it's like, um, whoopsed. Like, one of the regular, like, Pepsi ones or something. Did you run into a wall? No, I had an accident here a few days ago. Oh, you're the new guy. Frankie? Philip? Franco? Finley. Oh, but just to wrap up, um, also that building had an ice cream vending machine. So it was like a cooler that kept everything frozen. The top would come up when you made your selection and a little vacuum thing would go down. Pick up your ice cream like wrapped of course and then like give it to you god i missed that machine so much and it had a coffee machine you know in case you just needed some coffee get your little fix right there yeah name's finley finley right right heard about your little episode seems you made quite your scene still looking the bright side with how rotten everything is up there you're lucky you didn't fall through the floorboards you'd have landed right in our ward on the fourth floor i ran tone it oh I thought you were a patient. Okay. I'm Antonin, nurse. Upstairs on internal medicine, too. Anyway, I gotta go. Mind your step, Funky. Finley. This is the cafeteria. But I don't have time. But I don't have time breakfast right now. I can already feel Dr. Krakowski's icy breath on my neck. Then again. Nah, I better not risk it. I haven't had breakfast in a minute. I've kind of just been skipping it. Which is messed up considering I have like all this cereal <laughs> that I need to eat. Oh, the ambulance drivers. Okay. Hey, good morning. Morning. You knew, right? Haven't seen you around. We know everyone. Right, everyone. Not exactly new, but I was off sick for a few days. Same story every time. The rookies always get sick right away. Right away. I was in an accident. Clumsy too, huh? He hasn't even introduced himself properly yet. Introductions first, that's the way. I'm Demi. This guy next to me is Archie. <laughs> we do the emergency call-outs, but we handle standard patient transport, too. That's right. I'm Finley. I'm one of the new interns in Internal Medicine 1. Oh, I see what Krakowski. Sounds like you hit the jackpot. Yeah, I know. It's pretty tough. Tough? Krakowski's great. Oh, yeah, the best. What you hanging around here for, then? Yeah, what for? Better head upstairs before you find yourself a head shorter. Besides, we're busy right now. You're, you're, you're just smoking. Yeah, real busy. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Nice to meet you guys. Whatever. Okay, the other guy doesn't even get, like, a listing. Demi and Archie are ambulance drivers. I bet that's an exciting job to do. I'd love to try it out myself someday. Yeah, I, would, I would not want to be an ambulance driver. They... 
They see a lot. Uh, they've been friends their whole life. At least that's the impression I get. Can't help but think that they're not on good terms with the hospital. But maybe that's just how they are. Isn't that like a common thing too? Like ambulance drivers and like hospitals. They're just kind of like... <laughs> uh, good morning, Gregor. How are you? Him. Busy? Wait's only just started and the place already stinks of dumpster fire. Stench of Sir Gage's food would be stuck in my nose all day. Did no one come to pick up the trash? Do I look like a garbage truck to you? Doesn't look like it. I didn't mean... Darn right you didn't. Otherwise you'd be getting a much closer look at that dumpster right now. Hope your day's more relaxed from here on out. You could help with that, you know. Really? How can I help you? Don't leave garbage lying around. Don't make a mess. Don't break anything. That's it. Three very simple rules. And all these fancy doctors just don't get it. I'll remember. Please. You've no idea how long it took to clean up the mess at the accident. That was you? Who else what? Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> Gregor Glendower is the hospital's janitor. He's a bit scary. I don't think he likes me very much. It doesn't look like he likes anyone. Okay, well there's just trash on the ground that I kicked along. My bad. Oh my god, I was actually riding it for a moment. Okay, enough. Um, I'll just walk. Oh, because they're doing the ground floor thing. You can't just call it one. You got to call it zero. This leads down to the basement. I think that's where the lab and document archives are. And loads of dust, probably. I can already feel a sneeze coming on. Let's keep my hands off the dusty old files. Hold on. Is that my name on there? No, Finley, pull yourself together. You're seeing things. Administration is on the second floor. Chief Physician Dr. Theobald's office is up there. Up here. I haven't introduced myself to him yet. But that'll have to wait. I need to do my rounds. Okay. Are there human organs in here? If so, I hope no one needs them anymore. <laughs> we had a special refrigerator for organs back at university. Sword was never an issue. Just had to watch what you were doing when the summer barbecue came around. Oh my god. Here's a surgical ward. I'll stop by here another time. Only serious doctors in this hospital. And one clumsy one. Okay, those are nurses, not patients. Okay, Krakowski looking mad.
the ward bathroom. If you're lucky, it's clean. Sometimes you can hear faint whimpering noises coming from the stalls. I've been told that's completely normal. Sadly, yeah. <laughs> Ah, Finley, half an hour early. That's refreshing. Just what I like to see. I'm early? Really? Of course not. You're horrifically late. Again. Let me guess. The bus didn't come. Yes, I'm sorry. I... The bus is unreliable. It cannot be trusted. Find a way to get here on time before we decide we cannot trust you. Got it? Yes, got it. Sorry, Dr. Grakowski. If it's not too much trouble, we'll start our rounds in room 301. Yeah, if you know the bus is down, then, like, leave out early. Er. Is, is, is they dead? Oh my god, the anatomy poster for the cow. So here's Miss Martin. Good morning, you're very late today. Tell me about it. Miss Martin's in a hurry to get home. That's a good sign. But you still need some rest. Okay, Miss Martin came Okay, Miss Martin came to us yesterday with pain in her upper abdomen. She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea, and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real reason was a sharp pain in the heart. I panicked and called the emergency doctor. I was in so much pain I could hardly move. That's exactly the right thing to do. Anyone have any ideas? Mia? Me? Well... Come on, spit it out. And... Uh, yes... Ulcer? A stomach ulcer? Is that a question or your answer? My... Answer. Bingo, the reason for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. We still have to investigate the cause. So far, there's no indication of gastri gastritis or anything along those lines. Okay, Miss Martin, we'll probably keep you here for one more night. We'll check your readings again later. Just try to relax. Finley, you'll take care of Miss Martin's medication later. Why? Let's continue on room 303. Chop, chop, look sharp. Okay. Ouch. Eh, she'll be fine. Hopefully. Maybe. I've never had a stomach ulcer. Can they cause heart pain? Well, Larissa, how are we today? Quite okay, Doktorski. Doc it's good to hear that. Can you take a few deep breaths in and out for us? Like last night. That's right. Careful. Oops. Sorry, Dr. Krakowski. No problem. That was very, very good. How's it going? Do you want to tell the other doctors while you're here? Yes, I can do that, Dr. K. Well, I was down at school with the others. We were at the back of the skate park. I can't skate that well. I just got the board for my birthday. But I definitely want to learn. My board is super cool. It has green wheels and the grip tape is all black and brand new. I've heard other skaters scratch their board up on purpose to make it look cooler. I don't get that. My board has a big picture of a robot on the bottom. It's way too cool. I don't want to scratch that up. Very good. But well, what were you all doing down at school? Ah. Well, um... It was like this. See, what had happened was... My buddy Christo stole some cigarettes from his stepdad. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, be careful. If this was on the PS5, they make you say that Crystal stole some si some candy from your stepdad or his stepdad. He said if you want to be a good skater, you've got to smoke, too. It's all part of the deal, he said. I really didn't want to, but I didn't want to be a chicken, you know? I was still out of breath from practicing. He lit the cigarette and I took a drag. Super gross. I don't get why grown-ups seem to actually like those things. Smokers are jokers, children. Remember that. Anyway, I took a drag. Then all of a sudden I couldn't breathe. I coughed and coughed but couldn't get any air. Then I passed out. Luckily my friends caught an ambulance quickly. So, yeah, that's it really. Thank you, Larissa. You explained it all very well. Well then, care to share your opinions, my valued colleagues? What do you think, Finley? Hmm. I know, Dr. Krakowski already told me. Don't give it away, Larissa. Oh, okay. Sorry, Dr. Orski. <laughs> asthma? It could have been an asthma attack. Yes, asthma sounds logical. Indeed, logical and correct. What a stroke of luck. Without the help of my assistant, Larissa, you probably wouldn't have thought of it. <laughs> Good, Larissa. Keep doing your breathing exercises, but don't overexert yourself. You got it, Dr. Krakowski. Okay, the last stop for today is room P33. Oh, and Finley. You already know this patient. It's Mr. Willie Arndez. I assume the name rings a bell. Mr. Arndez, yes. He's a permanent guest on our ward. Mr. Arndez is an old-timer. Even discounting his recent injuries, his head isn't in the best of shape anymore. So act accordingly. Hey, Doc, do you know when breakfast is served around here? Hmm. Haven't you already... Or haven't you had breakfast already? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I'm going to say that's a yes. Alright, P33. Oh, does the P mean private room? Yeah, okay. Everything will be just fine, Mr. Arndis. This matter is very important to me, and I'll assure it is resolved quickly. You can rest assured of that. Hi, Dr. Krakowski. Nice to see you. Good morning, Mr. Hydrick. To what do we owe the honor? Mr. Arndes, of course. I heard he was on the mend. I have to say, I'm looking relieved. The poor gentleman has been through a lot. This incident has been of great concern to us over the past few days, as you know. Sorry, just something was wrapping up in the background here. That's what that tone was for. I know that, yes. I've been sweating blood myself. The whole thing is rather unseemly from an insurance perspective. But I was also very worried about our patient, of course. Let's not forget our junior doctor here. Hope you're back on your feet. Ready to throw yourself back into the fray? Yes, I'm doing well. Thank you, Mr. Hydrick. It's great to have you back. Truly, I admire your d dedication. Goes without saying that I don't blame you for the accident. Nobody at St. Ursula's does. St. Ursula's itself is responsible for this accident. As such, we will be taking personal responsibility for the matter. Arrange for Mr. Arndis to receive the very best treatment available. That's why we secured him a place in the best rehab clinic in the country. He'll be well looked after there around the clock. The rest will also help with his age-related dementia. Speaking of which, I'm glad I bumped to you this morning, Dr. Krakowski. 
Oh, really? Yes, indeed. Would you do me a favor and assess Mr. Hardest's condition later today? If you can discharge him with a clear conscience, let me know. Then I'll arrange the transport right away. Understood. I'll take a look and let you know. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. I won't keep you waiting any longer. All of our time is precious. Oh, and if you need extra hands on your team, I'll see what I can do. Healthy infrastructure is essential. We don't want our staff overworking themselves and then calling in sick. Good luck. Here's to a successful day. Yes, anyway. I can't check my phone. Good morning, Mr. Arndez. You know my daughter looks exactly like you. Yes, yes. Well, isn't she the lucky one? How are you feeling today? I just told you, didn't I? I'm afraid that must have been before I got here, Mr. Arndez. Well, what are you doing here, then? I have to find out how you're doing and take a look at your dressings. When's lunch today? Straight after this. Okay, then go ahead. Finley. Hmm? Yes? Mr. Arndis suffers from dementia, but is still relatively fit, as you can see. He injured his leg as a result of the aforementioned incident. He also suffered a moderate concussion. Okay, concussion and dementia does not sound like a good combination. Finley, would you be so kind as to change Mr. Arndis' dressing? It's important to keep the dressings fresh. We can also take a look at the wound. You want me to change the dressings right now? You can ask Mr. Arndis if he wants to do it himself, if you prefer. He can't be any worse at it than you. Alright, I'm doing it. Good morning, Mr. Arndis. I'm very pleased to see you. Hmm, do I know you? Yes, maybe. There was an accident, do you remember? I want lasagna tonight, but hold the salad. I can't stand all those leaves. Hey, salad's good, though. Mr. Arndis? Finley, what are you doing? Do you want me to bring you some tea and cake? All this stress has been hard on Mr. Arndis. Now let him rest and do your job. I just wanted to... Okay. Treatment. Your patient is in your hands. Press all the buttons shown on the screen to administer treatment. Make sure you only press the button shown on the screen. Be as quick as possible and don't release any of the buttons as long as they're displayed. Let's go. I'm ready. He's done it. Look at that. The dressing may be rather average, but I'm happy with the condition of the wound. I'll be back to you later to check your readings, but there's a chance we'll be able to discharge you very soon. That would be nice, Miss Krakowski. Doctor. No, no, I'm not a doctor. Just an absent-minded old fool. Oh, dear. Okay, we're done, Mia. Finley. Come with me and I'll give you your task for today's shift. Mr. Arndes, I... Gim crack gimmickry and bubblin blubber. I'm sorry. Sure you are. Well, time for me to get back to work. A jam won't make itself. And I can't be late tonight. Get well soon, Mr. Arndes. I wish you the best of luck. Dementia sucks. I just have a sneaking suspicion someone there will be death in this game. <laughs> Is 
There you are, back to full health, I trust. Yes, all good. I'm glad to be back at work again. In that case, I look forward to a smooth shift. I'll activate today's tasks in your app. The walls are crumbling, but they still find money for digitalization. I still don't believe in these electronic patient records. Oh, God, you're old. But Heydrich and Theobald won't stop singing their praises. We've done a test run and some updates, to all, so all the wars have to use this app now. The data protection benefits are indisputable, but I haven't seen any evidence of it saving us time yet. Anyway, just open the patient app on your smartphone. Everything else should be self-explanatory. So, earlier, um, what bit of technology did I criticize for being very old and wondering if this game took place in the 90s? But now we have smartphones and apps, so... Mm. Yeah, I didn't check my notes. Heydrich. Roman Heydrich does the financial stuff in the hospital. It's not for me at all, but maybe he enjoys it. He asked me about the accident today and seems worried about me and Mr. Arndis. Today's schedule. <sighs> Alright. Alright. The file tells you who to treat and what they need. Child's play, really. Any questions? I don't think so. You have everything you need. Report back to me when you've completed today's tasks. And make sure you don't collect any more band-aids on your face by the end of your shift. I'll keep an eye on your work and evaluate it. Do try to make an effort. Alright, well, let's go to 301. A doctor giving medicine. Usually the nurse does that. Hello. There you are again. Nice to see you again, Miss Martin. I'd rather we make it somewhere else next time. Yes, I'd prefer that too. How are you? Oh, you know. I've been a little restless lately. Sometimes it feels like I can't breathe properly. I have had... St I have bad stomach pains. Do you have heartburn? I always have heartburn. Had it for years. Yes, a stomach ulcer is no joke. I've been through a lot of stress in the past few months. I've had a lot of arguments with my daughter. My job's got me pulling my hair out. Very sorry to hear that, Miss Martin. Do you think the ulcer is stress related? Hmm, no, I don't think so. In fact, you're very unlikely to develop an ulcer just from stress. It's true that stress isn't good for the stomach, though, and it can give you heartburn. Can you do anything about it? It's lucky you came to see us so early. That's good. Last night's tests show you have a bacterial pathogen in your stomach. That's probably what's causing the ulcer. But I'm going to start by prescribing you some medication. Whatever you think will help. Alright, let's see then. Alright, prescribe the right medication. Try to get all the patient's readings to their optimum levels using as little medication as possible. Each type of medication affects two different readings. If you're satisfied with the medication you've chosen, sign the prescription. Logic puzzles? Three pills! And I need to get them to the right levels there. Well, obviously we're going to have that and this. Or not. Okay, so... So there's going to be a plus green, at the very least. There's definitely going to be a plus red, so we'll just take that. 
It's gonna have to be two. Why are there two? Oh no, yeah, I need, no. So I can do one of the bottom ones. Plus yellow. Yeah, I think I'm good. Yay! I can do logic puzzles. Well, that should have you feeling better in no time. Someone will come and give you your medication before lunch. Till then, try to get some sleep. Yes, I should rest my eyes. I was up all night with the pain. Get well soon. See you later. Thank you and good night. Okay, it's at 3.03 we go. Also, I need a snack. Kind of starving right now. The walnuts I have weren't cutting it. Hey Doc, what's your name? Hey Larissa, I'm Finley. I'll be examining you over the next few days, okay? Nothing to worry about. Okay, well, whatever you said. Oh my god. Okay, whatever you say, Doctor. I'd like to listen to your lungs. You mean you want to put that freezing cold thing on my chest? I'm afraid so, but don't worry, it's not that cold. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Actually, I guess it is a bit cold most of the time. But only be for a moment. You think you can manage that? Yes. Okay. Shall we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Jumping hearts, rattling lungs. Press the button shown on the screen at the right moment. Hold L when a button appears on the top or bottom line. Oh my god, it's theater rhythm. I just want to restart. Oh no, you only get one shot? Oh, that's not good. It really was only cold for a second. What did you hear, Doc? Nothing too bad, Larissa. But there was a faint rattle. A rattle? Like the musical instrument? Yes, kind of. I used to play one of those in my school orchestra. But I didn't swallow it, I promise. Actually, I think it's your body that's rattling. Is that bad? Yes. 
Have you heard of asthma? Yes, I've heard of it. That sounds bad. Can you die from it? Do you think I have asthma? Will I die from it? No, don't worry. It could be asthma, but we're running some more tests. If it is asthma, then there's something to be afraid of. P promise? I promise. Okay. Try to make yourself as comfortable as possible here. I'll check on you again tomorrow, okay? Sure thing. I mean, asthma can kill you. People die from asthma attacks all the time. Okay, real quick, I, I just gotta grab, like, this half of a candy bar that's been open for weeks. I hope it's still good. Got my Milky Way cookie dough. It's a Milky Way bar with cookie dough instead of like. I'm opening that directly in the mic. That is bad. It looks fine. Oh god. But does it taste fine? Yep, you're good. I don't even like Milky Ways like that, but this is good. Miss Helmig. Ooh, thyroid surgery. That's bad. Yeah, I'm not going to read out this one. I am enjoying this Milky Way. You're talking and swallowing is difficult. Mm -hmm. I mean, the only major, major surgery I've ever had was like when my teeth weren't coming in properly. You want to talk about rough? Like, try being in kindergarten and you get like oral surgery so that like your teeth will grow right and then you just have like stitches in your mouth for like a week that was rough it was like okay just my diet was jello for that week hmm I'm a little worried about her. Okay, yeah, this Milky Way is like coming right in handy. Oh, snap. Alright. Um I got it. Alright, mini game. Um okay. Let's go. They get a little tricky with some of those. Looking good so far. Everything seems to be alright. Try to talk as little as possible and drink a lot. Okay. Where, what, where is thyroid surgery? 
like, where is your thyroid? Is that, like, your shoulder region? Wait, I have a computer here with the power of the internet. Thyroid is a gland in your throat. Ooh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. That would make it hard to talk. All done, Dr. Krakowski. Good, good. How was it? Pretty good, I think. All right, let's see. Oh, uh, don't, don't, don't look at the stethoscope thing. But everything else is fine. Average performance. That's unfortunate. I advise you to stick at it and improve your work. Watch, listen, and most importantly, gain practical experience. I'll continue to monitor your progress. Who knows, you may still surprise me yet. Okay. I have another task for you. Oh, there it glands all over your body. Oh, okay. Well, give me the opportunity to save me some time and get to know the hospital a little better. Sure, what can I do? I need you to go to the lab in the basement. Just keep following the stairs until you get to the bottom. The door is on the right. But you can also take the elevator if you like. I have sent some blood samples to Dr. Halil and I need the results. Can you manage that without injuring yourself again, Finley? As long as the stairs don't collapse underneath me, I should be okay. Well, let's all keep our fingers crossed then. Off you go, I need those results today. Lab, basement, Dr. Halil, got it. They are, she is mean. Yeah, I'm using the elevator. Okay, basement looking dirty and dingy. Locked. Hello? See that red light above the door? That what? Uh, yes, I see it. Good, good, excellent. Well then. So I'm here too. You see the red light, don't you? Yes, I see the red light. A red light usually means something like very busy. Prohibited. Negative. No access. Or simply no. I need the blood results urgently for Dr. Krakowski. Dr. Krakowski, is it? I see. That does alter the parameters somewhat. Do you want to see a magic trick? I'm not sure. Yes, yes, of course you do. Pay attention. Ta-da! Wonderful, isn't it? And I haven't even stood up yet. Can I go in now? What do you think? You see a green light, don't you? <laughs> Real quick, I just need to explore the rest of this floor. Hey, oh, yep. Oop. Hospital archives. No one knows what treasures they hide. Treasures made out of old moldy paper if the smell's anything to go by. Then 40 years of stale cigarette smoke. Why would you have the archives in the basement? Doesn't seem like the best place for archives. Or a lab, for that matter. Oh, he's a mole. Alright, here I am. Whoa! What are you doing here? I was outside the door. I was just talking to you. Fascinating. And? And what? The light. Was it green? Yes, it was green. Excellent! Look, I need the blood results that Dr. Krakowski asked you for. Ah, uh, indeed, indeed. So are we wasting our time chatting? Follow me. I think I have your results around here somewhere. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The documents you requested should be just here. You 
keep your documents in the blood refrigerator? Of course, saves time in matching them to the samples. I'm a great believer in shortcuts, you know. Okay, I don't think this guy should be working for the hospital. The day becomes so much more efficient if one reduces the distances between A and B. My system is simple. It cuts down on sorting and filing work, too. And now you, too, can benefit from the fruits of my diligence. Well, if that's all... Wow. Oh no. Oh horror. What a mishap. That bang made my heart jump. The whole system. I... Let me just put things right and... It'll be alright again in no time. Oh, woe is me. Can I help you? What do you mean? You wanna help me? That makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, that happens. Let's see. Just a minute. Why do the samples have different colored lids? That, my dear doctor, that's my sorting system. <laughs> it looks complicated. On the contrary, it's as easy as pie. Each sample has a sticker on the lid. Each sticker has four different colors on it. Some of the samples fell out due to the accident. Others have gotten turned around so they're not facing the right way. You need to turn the samples around until all the same colors are facing each other. When four samples are positioned correctly, they'll make a single colored square. Once all the samples are facing the right way, you'll be able to see where the samples that fell out slot in. It's quite simple. This dude is insane. You're very smart. Alright, let's do this. The samples got mixed up, but you can fix this. Use LB and RB to rotate the flask. The flask is in the correct position when the colors of all four segments match with the segments of the adjacent bottles to form a square. Okay. Also, I like how they spell cozy with an S, but they spell color the correct way. No you. Um... I am pressing A to continue. Um. Okay, that was weird. Okay, so this one won't be spinning around. So we got that square there. Yellow, orange. And then you're gonna make green, pink. His sorting method is so bad. All those are gonna be red. Fix those yellow. Blue. Okay. No orange. Red, pink. Okay, red right there, blue will be right there, green will be up there. Okay. Hmm. 
And that's the only one that's gonna have like a yellow pertaining to a shape. What? Yeah, why is this one not that very clearly fits there? Okay. What? Okay, I press left button. It didn't rotate, but it gave me the... Huh. Alright. See? Fantastic, isn't it? My system is infallible. Thank you for your efforts. I had better get back to my work. Um, Dr. Halil, was there something else to your doctor? The results for Dr. Krakowski. Oh, right, right, Dr. Krakowski. What did you say? You know, I'm always happy to help, but I only have 24 hours in my day. You need to sleep in a way that'll give you 25 hours per day. Here you are. My flawless system, I have... I always have everything to hand. Enjoy! And please don't forget to close the door behind you. One needs to hear oneself think, don't you know? All right. Yeah, I'll take the elevator. I did a good job. Here are your blood results, Dr. Krakowski. And why did it take you so long? The bus to the lab not turn up. No, I had to help Dr. Halil sort his samples. You had to help him. Yes, I... Do you see Dr. Halil here attending to the patients on the third floor? No, you don't, because that's not his job. St. Ursula's is a finely tuned machine. If one cog fails, everything grinds to a halt. Call it a day and take some rest. Maybe you'll feel a bit more up to speed tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning, right on time for the start of the shift. And try to concentrate a bit more on administering your treatments. Got it. Have a nice evening, Dr. Krakowski. Dude, you are a punk. And she just big mad all the time. Hmm. You're only off sick for a few days, but it's funny how quickly you forget some things. Or forget things sometimes. I don't know, things didn't go too well today. Trouble with Dr. Krakowski. I don't think she likes me. Liking ain't got nothing to do with it, sweetie. Dr. Krakowski doesn't tolerate mistakes. She's a tough cookie. So you make an effort. So make an effort, kiddo. Who knows, you might even learn something. I'll do my best. Have a nice evening, Ingrid. You too. See you tomorrow. That is so neat. Really? Just gonna walk home like this? This doesn't seem smart. Am I going to get mugged?
I'm not even trying. The bus won't come. Will I ever see it again? Alright, so off we go. Oops. This evening, isn't it lovely? The warm air that still has a little bit of summer left in it. The golden fall sun is slowly going to sleep. Slowly going to sleep. It's already asleep. Ah, how wonderful. Yeah, this is the path I took to get there. Just standing in the middle of a sidewalk smoking. <laughs> you mean Carl? Yeah, that's the one. He needs to keep away from Tell them that for me. I don't even know your name, buddy. Sorry, I'm also trying to listen into my mom yelling on the phone. Um, Giuliani's probably in full flow already, handing out drinks left, right, and center. I'm sorry, Centra. But I'm too exhausted. Maybe tomorrow. Right now I need sleep. But I wish to see what's on the lower path as well. You're still here? I'd never talked to you to begin with. What do you mean? Well, I just started. Lost the bet, so I have to take the night watch. I'm a loser. So my watch begins. Okay. Oh, I'm not going that way. Alright, fair enough. Music is really peaceful. Off to bed, I want to be. I think I. Um, I think I'll just get a little more air. Is there a perk for doing that? Not really seeing much else. I'll just risk it. Good night, world. Are we going to have another LSD dream? What is he doing? Good more mean. I'm alert. I'm up for it. I can do anything. I'm on top of the world. 
That's what I would say right now if I were the kind of guy who cheers himself on in the mirror every morning. Luckily, I'm not that kind of guy. Thank you. And luckily, I don't have a mirror. That would be uncomfortable for everyone involved. But at least I got out of bed on time today. Ooh, what's that like? It's a huge success by itself, if you ask me. And I got rid of that awful Band-Aid, too. Almost seven years of studying medicine, I can finally take a Band-Aid off without it hurting. Oh, that's easy. Just use alcohol. Maybe I do have what it takes. Yeah, this place is looking barren. So just checking something real quick. Okay, nothing going on on the phone. Hey, is a walrus. Hey, morning there. Spare a few cents, my friend. Sure thing. Here you go. Thank you. New kid in town, huh? Haven't seen you here before. Yes, I moved here a few weeks ago. Oh, not that new then. Guess we just work different schedules. But put it this way. If you're the kind of guy who likes a shrewd investment, I'm sure I'll be seeing you again soon. You have a productive day now. That was a weird way of putting it. Alfio. This morning Alfio was sitting in front of my door. He doesn't seem to have a place to stay. Poor Alfio. Okay, that is an angry looking horse. Yo, you live across the street from here, right? Yes, that's right, can I help you? Are you the guy who always stuffs his garbage can full of yogurt cups? No, sorry, I never even eat yogurt. Be glad, I'm on the war path. Every round I make, I come across this one garbage can. Stuffed to the brim with yogurt cups. And as if that wasn't absurd enough, most of them are still half full. So I'm trying to somehow get this mountain of yogurt cups in the truck. And all the half full cups come tumbling down on my head. I need to get a bus home and take a shower. I never get rid of that cherry, peach, and vanilla smell otherwise. <laughs> I was wondering what smells so good around here. I would not... He's an angry horse, and if he really wanted to, he could probably just, like, kick our head off, because that's kind of what horses are capable of, so... How... So is the bus from running again? Yeah, I took it to work earlier. I'm not the world's greatest cyclist. So I'm actually pretty reliant on the bus. Do you know when the bus is coming? Any moment now, I think. Where do you need to get to? St. Ursula's Hospital. Oh, you're one of those folks? Your garbage cans are in a class of their own. <laughs> I was at St. Ursula's earlier this year. Slip disc. Do you know a Dr. Gautera? Hmm. Gautera. I think I've heard the name before, but I haven't met him yet. I haven't been there long. Right, anyway, Dr. Gautera's a good guy. Show me some exercises. It's been better since then. Cool. If you see him, tell him Mateo says hi. Mateo or Mateo. Will do. Are you taking the bus too? I'll walk. I get it. The weather's still nice and the exercise will do you good. Yeah, plus I need to examine, like, the other street. Mateo was standing at the bus stop yelling this morning and smelled like yogurt. First, I thought he was just really into dairy, when in fact, he works at the garbage disposal and had a small incident this morning. I kind of feel for him. There we go. Excuse me. Hmm, yes? Do you know what's going on here? Why is the line so long? Haven't you heard? They're saying today is going to be the last warm day of the year. 
That means the ice cream shop's closing today. It won't open again until spring. But ice cream is a year-round snack. You always have great deals on the last day of the year. We don't want to miss it. Who knows how long we'll have to wait before we can get a delicious ice cream again. Well, we're not taking a look at the lower path then. Flower Shop Girl is going to be pissed. Oh, look at the crow! Are you okay? Are you looking for something? Hello? Trains are great, right? Do you like trains too? I love them. They're long and loud and fast. I wish I was a train. Uh, yeah. Trains are cool. This cream is worth it though, right? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I like ice cream a lot, but in a standing, like, in a line that long, I'm good. I'll just come back when the line's shorter. Or just buy ice cream from another store. There's never really a shortage of where you can buy ice cream, at least where I am. So you like trains too? Sure. Wow! But you know what trains can't do? Swim. That's why there's no trains here. Because this is water. And trains can't swim. Sure, that figures. I think Trey should be able to swim. <laughs> I love this crow. Now I could go anywhere by train. Like an island that's really sunny and stuff. Even though I don't like sun that much. Not as much as trains. <laughs> I love him. Kim. Oh, I really like trains all that much, but I didn't want to spoil Kim's enjoyment. <laughs> Yeah, there's underwater tunnel trains. There's also, like, you know, boats. <laughs> They're kind of like trains that can swim. <laughs> trains, am I right? Yes, trains. Uh, totally. Amazing. Best character. 10 out of 10. I do like trains. I kind of wish they were more of a thing in the U.S. I mean, there are trains that run, but it's not like, you, you know, just a normal, everyday thing. Early start today? Yep, I want to enjoy the walk to work a little more. You can see so much going about the world on foot. New people, but familiar faces, too. You can even get yourself a nice breakfast and nibble away on a park bench. Have you had breakfast today? Yes, of course. I have to be on form for my rounds. People are getting a lot of mail right now. Take the Colberts, for example. Lots of bills. I wonder what's going on there. And Adele Von Withersburg hasn't received any postcards for a long time. Hope her pen pal is okay. Hold on, you read people's mail? No, not on purpose. Oh my god. Honestly, I don't. It's just one of the hazards being a postwoman. I mean, I can't deliver the mail blindfold, can I? Okay. Let's just get away from the person who's admitting they're committing a felony. Or more safer passenger trains. Yeah, like, because public transportation in the U.S. is not the best. Especially in certain cities. Like, where I am, Detroit, we have, like, buses that are bad. Like, if they're running on time, that's usually, like, a miracle. But yeah, just regular old buses. We have the 
people mover, which is kind of like a monorail, but it just does a loop around one section of downtown. So, yeah, can't really rely on that all that much. And then we have the Q line, which is just like a streetcar type of thing but it only goes like a couple miles from like on one street from like midtown to like just the edge of downtown we just don't have good transportation options <laughs> and we put a lot of money into the queue line but it, it it doesn't go anywhere it's just like okay cool Repurposing ice cream trucks. It's a ride in ice cream. I'd be for it. I hear about the fountain. Whoa there, kid. What are you thinking, creeping up on me like that? I'm trying to con contemplate it. Sorry, what are you contemplating? Take a look for yourself. The old town fountain's giving up the ghost. Just packed in the whole fountain game. No splish, no splash, no nothing. You're right there. Any idea what's wrong with it? Oh no, he meant like you're right there as in you're correct, not like you're the repair man. Do something about it. Duh. Not a one, but we'll work it out. We only got the repair contract from the council today. The town normally turns off the well and winter anyway. But they want to fire it up again for the hibernation festival. We usually keep it running until then and then give it its winter break. This year we have to fix it first. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you then. You better. You'd be better off using them to hold on and hope this old deer gets up and running again. Funny enough, I haven't seen too many ice cream trucks this summer. Well, no. I have been seeing them, but they've only been the soft serve trucks. And I don't trust them enough to order ice cream from them. Granted, I will, like, I will eat from food trucks all the time, like, yeah, like, I, I have no problem with eating from a food truck, but it's like, something about a soft serve ice cream truck, I'm just a little suspicious of them. Yeah, I want the pre-packaged ice cream truck, because I really want, like, my Mississippi Mud Pie Bar, from one of those strawberry shortcake or chocolate eclair bars. Unfortunately, I can't get Choco Tacos anymore because Klondike was like, oh, we're getting rid of them because they hate money. I miss Choco Tacos, man. I like those little cookie um, um, ice cream sandwiches, like the cho chocolate chip cookies and then like the ice cream in the middle of it. And then like there's chocolate chips on the ice cream chunk itself. That's good too. Oh yeah, Klondike got rid of Choco Tacos. Um, I was livid. Like, Choco Taco discontinued. Yep, they were discontinued last year. Wait. Wait. Did we bully them? Do we did we bully them into bringing them back? Taco Taco is not quite dead yet. What? Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Wait. Oh no! Okay. It's being discontinued. It's not a PR stunt, but there is a chance it can come back in the future. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I have not bought a Klondike product since. <laughs> Presently living. Yeah, like, even seeing, like, just things like, oh, these special, like, Klondike 
products are on sale. Like you can get the Klondike bars or these Klondike ice cream sandwiches. Like buy one get one free at like Kroger or Meyer or wherever. It's like, yeah, but I can't give them money after they got rid of one of the best ice cream treats ever. And I can hold out. Because when Taco Bell stopped serving the Mexican pizza, I was like, alright, well then I just won't eat Taco Bell. And I and I did not. Then they brought back the Mexican pizza and I put my money where my mouth is. And it's like, okay, I will consume Taco Bell again because they brought back the Mexican pizza. <laughs> Here he is again. Two days in a row without injury. You're getting good at this, kid. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself. You should be. But don't overdo it. You don't want to end up being employee of the month. I'll be careful. How are things? Doing okay? <laughs> Future principal. Thank you. Thank you. I try my best. <laughs> I take food seriously. Depends. You asking me on my back? What? Um, uh, you? Wonderful. A dream come true. I get up at four. Oh, God. N no. Even the bakery isn't open yet. The coffee tastes like cold ashes. The damn bus comes once or twice a season. And I lost at bridge. Badly. There is no way in hell I'm getting up at four to start my day and go to work. No, thank you. Oh, so you play bridge? I used to play that with my granddad. He taught me. Ah, good memories. Hmm. <laughs> Hope you had a nice evening anyway. I was okay, I guess, but Biggie cheats. You heard it from me. She just can't lose like I can. Don't be a sore loser, kid. Even if Biggie is a miserable cheetah. How's the situation? Pretty busy. But you're on time today. Say, kid, you, you know your way around the hospital yet? Um, not that well, to be honest. Not surprised. Everyone gets lost here at the beginning. So let's start here. Right now, you're standing on the ground floor. Come visit me whenever you get a moment. I'm busy, but I never say no to a chat. The cafeteria's on the ground floor, too. Sir Gedge is a pretty good cook. If you ask me. You can also get to the back entrance for me. That's where all the medical waste gets disposed of. Our ambulances and emergency vehicles are parked back there too. Sometimes people go out there when they need some fresh air. Most floors have access to the stairwell and an elevator. The elevator will get you where you need to go the quickest. If you're in a hurry, that's the quickest way to get anywhere. You can also use the staircase to get to all the other floors. At the bottom of the staircase is the basement. That's where the lab is. Dr. Halil's quirky kingdom. But you've already met him, so I hear. Our central document archive and storeroom are on that floor, too. All kinds of knickknacks down there. <laughs> Rest in peace to whoever got put on hold. I didn't even think about that, because she is just holding the phone. Uh, 911, help, I've been shot. Like, okay, just one moment. So anyway, let me finish giving you this tour of the hospital, floor by floor. Like, <laughs> that's where Gregor dumps all his junk. Administration's on the first floor. That's where you'll find Dr. Theobald and Mr. Heydrich, Heydrich's office. The surgery's on the second floor. Everyone worships the ground Dr. Linwood walks on. The surgeon with the golden hands was recruited especially from abroad. Now he cuts folks open in our little town. Dr. Portobello, is that a mushroom? And him, they love a good bicker. Hope I don't have to tell you what's on the third floor. I am pretty familiar by now. You really struck gold, kiddo, winding up with Dr. Krakowski. Stay on our good side and you'll be a top doctor in no time. I'll do my best. The floor above you is internal medicine, too. That's more for patients with private insurance. Dr. Galtera and Dr. Kamala are pretty laid back. 
No bad thing, considering how hot-headed some folks are. Or blah, blah, blah. Here are. You'll find out the rest of your old kiddo. Thanks for the info, Ingrid. You're welcome. It's never a bad thing to get to know the people around you. Take a look around when you have time. If there's an emergency, you'll need to know exactly what's where. You should drop by Dr. Theobald's office. You want to be in his good books. He's a chief physician, after all. I'm sure he'll love you. Okay, good thought. I'll go see him. Do you know where his office is? Yes, of course. His office. I know that. First floor, right? Yeah, there we go. First floor on the right. Thanks. See you later. Don't trip yourself up, kid. I think it was a mushroom, or was I thinking of Portabella? I'm not a mushroom eater. I think they're disgusting, but... I know it's like the main ones people eat are like shiitake and... Um, Portabella. Okay... God, I miss vending machines. We need a vending machine at my job and not an overpriced convenience store that has nothing good. Like, dude stocks up, like, just everything himself, but it's like... Dude, you're just going to, like, Costco or Sam's Club, and you're just picking up, like, stuff in bulk. These aren't even, like, the right sizes for anything, and it's, like, you're charging, like, two fifty dollars for a can of Pepsi? Are you insane? This is Mr. Hydrich's office. Hmm, no answer. Maybe he's not turned up yet. Or he already has his nose buried in some contracts. This is Chief Physician Dr. Theobald's office. We haven't had a chance to meet each other yet. Should I pop in and say hello? Yeah, knock. More mushrooms for you. You, you can, you can have them. You can keep them. I don't, I don't wish to see the mushrooms. I don't wish to touch the mushrooms. No, thank you. No, thank you. But I will gladly keep all the tomatoes and all the pickles and onions. Because when I was working at Wendy's, I was like, those are the three main things people would always say no to. Though tomatoes were probably the most. You always get people like, uh, no tomatoes. No tomatoes in my sandwich. It's like, but tomatoes are good. Like a good firm tomato that's just sliced it's like yo that's that junk right there though not all tomatoes are created equal beef steak tomatoes i think they're called those are freaking amazing let me make sure beef steak yep i don't know why they're called beef steak but they are really good tomatoes and green tomatoes are usually really good, too, especially when you, like, fry them. Spare some t tomatoes for the populace. Purple and shiitake are the main ones. Hmm. So I see lions made their diced mushroom dumplings. <laughs> oh, he's not in? Oh, no, he's in. Okay. Oh, uh, maybe one day I'll, like, get brave and, like, try some mushrooms or a mushroom dish. Because I'm trying to be less of a picky eater over the years. Like, I'm willing to try new things and stuff. I did not even see where I was, so I accidentally walked out. Oh, my God. Okay, but... 
Yeah, maybe one day. I'm not. I'm not gonna rush like right now. <laughs> Rooster. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, the birds are gonna stick together. So, yeah, yeah. Is that alcohol? A very good morning to you. What can I do for you? Doodle do. Good morning, Dr. Theobald. My name is Finley. I'm a junior doctor. I joined not long ago. Ah, yes. I'm glad you stopped by. How are you doing so far? Is it settling in nicely? It's all very exciting, but I'm getting along just fine, thanks. Glad to hear it. It's a shame we're only just meeting now. I always like to welcome new faces. I'm sure you'll do great work here. So, Finley, what brings you to good old St. Ursula's? Is it the views? Love, perhaps? You don't have to tell me. I just like to chat, you know? No, no, it's okay. I finished my degree in medicine and wanted to start work straight away. Learn as much as I can and become a good doctor. I studied in the big city, spent all my life there too. Never lived in a place like Porcupine before. And I thought a small hospital might allow me to take on more important tasks. That and I thought the place was nice. Oh yes, it's lovely here. And how are you finding life in Porcupine? Well, it's different than I expected. But I haven't had much time to explore yet, to be honest. Hopefully I'll get a chance soon. Sure, sure. But I won't lie to you, Finley. The day-to-day -day in the hospital isn't easy. The work can be very fulfilling, but also exhausting. Don't let it get you down. If you can do that, I can see you staying with us for a good long time. And if you need anything, please let me know. I do what I can to help, or to keep all our staff happy. Which ward do you work on? I... Unfortunately, I no longer have time to treat patients myself. I miss working on the wards terribly, but my current position simply doesn't allow it. So why the stethoscope, then? Oh, this whole thing. I just like to keep it with me. I find it comforting. It brings me luck and helps me feel like I'm still part of the team in some small way. Is there anything else on your mind? Any questions, perhaps? Hmm. I don't think he would know about Arndes. That could be good. Yeah, that's nice. But I, <laughs> I kind of do want to select that. And yeah, the like this whole game just feels like really charming. Like it's giving me Night in the Woods vibes. Which is definitely not a bad thing. I also need to beat Night in the Woods. It was good, from what I played so far. Uh, do you have any tips for working with Dr. Krakowski? Mr. Krakowski is one of the best doctors I know. Don't let her get you down. I know you've got what it takes. And Dr. Krakowski knows it too. She just doesn't show it that often. Yeah, maybe that's it. Oh, I can go over all of these with them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I remember, like, I had it for ages, but, like, my old laptop couldn't run it. That's how bad my old laptop was. <laughs> Ooh, but yeah, I think I did have it installed on this uh, PC for a while, just never got back to it because my Steam library is out of control. <laughs> Yes, I heard about that, of course. Don't worry. It wasn't your fault. You're not the first to have a runaway patient here. Happens to the best of us. Even Dr. Linwood had to go looking for someone once. And that patient only had one leg. Anyway, <laughs> it all turned out alright in the end. Dust yourself off and keep at it, okay? Okay. Thank you. God, I am, I do not miss my old laptop. It couldn't run a dang thing. It was like Binding of Isaac. 
was like the extent of what it could run. It really is, isn't it? I fell for the old lady's rustic charm too, many years ago now. Ah, uh, yes. Is there anything else I can do for you? Oh, what? That, that was all you said about being a nice hospital? Okay. Uh, what about the cafeteria? Old Sergej? Or Sergey? Have I been pronouncing his name wrong this whole time? But an I doesn't go down that low. Like, that is very clearly a J. So, Sergej. Sergej? Or would it be pronounced Sergey? Well, he does a good job, however you pronounce his name. I complained about a dish once. The Orange Overture, he called it. A bit bitter for a start, if you ask me. Anyway, I haven't spent much time there since. But that doesn't diminish my respect for Sergej. And I'm a great proponent of healthy feedback. Even the healthiest foods can leave a bitter taste. Jay tends to be more of a wise sound These, those parts. Okay, so it would be Sergey, man. Because I'm always used to seeing that with the EI, but fair enough. Okay, I'm good. Thanks for your time. Good, good. Off you go, then. I'm sure we both have a busy day ahead of us. Thank you for stopping by. We should do this again sometime. Have a nice day, Dr. Theobald. Hey. Also, no new texts? Really? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is the same as ha, ha, ha. Mm-hmm. I usually try to, like, stay up on pronunciations from different cultures. Like, I know, um... But, like, you will accidentally, like... Or, like, you will hear me accidentally doing, like, some German pronunciation for things, because I studied that for, like, four years. No, technically six. No, no, four. Like, two years in high school, two years in college. And it's always, like, W's are pronounced with a V, but... It's like E-I or I-E will always, like, trip me up. Because whenever you see E-I, it's pronounced I. And whenever you see I-E in German, it's pronounced E. So you take, like, the second vowel there. But only for, like, when an I and an E is next to each other. If you see, like, an A-U, that would be, like, Owl. Like, H-A-U-S, house. But, like, W-E-I-S would be vice. But the whole I-E or E-I thing... No, no, that even applies if it's, like, the closing vowels, because D-I-E is D. Yeah, anyway, just some random German <laughs> weirdness there. Like... The key to German, like, if French is the language of the silent everything, German is the language of the silent nothing. You will say every letter in a word. Uh, Theobald. Dr. Theobald is the chief of medicine at St. Ursula's. I spoke to him today for the first time. I like the conversation. Hope to learn a lot from him. Okay. It's like every language just has its own weirdness. Like German, you pronounce everything. French, pretty much there's just going to be some accents or some silent letters everywhere. Welsh. Honestly, I think Welsh just makes up the rules as they go. Um, it's, I don't, I don't. No. No. <laughs> Welsh is scary. Um, i trying to think what else. Hey, how's it going? Morning, Finley. Hope you have a good shift today. Thanks, you too. My stomach's already growling. 
I was checking out the hospital a bit this morning and forgot to have breakfast. You're funny. Well, then I really hope you have a quiet one today. See you later, Mia. Oh, yeah, the desk is this way. <laughs> we have a superpower. We love about German, Spanish, and even Korean. Like, I always go back to that one video of the news reporter, like, talking about the weather in this Welsh city, where it was like, f what, 40 or 50 something letters long? And he just, he just did it. Like, without skipping a beat. And it's just like, you are amazing. And you could probably, like, just, he could probably be the sickest rapper if he wanted to. <laughs> uh, good morning. Nice of you to turn up before sunset. Have you got your file for today yet? No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> yes. Copy paste it. Fair enough. I will not even attempt to pronounce it because I know I'm going to get it wrong. <laughs> Let's deal with that right away. Some of the beds have already been reassigned. Your tasks for today have been activated in your app. Let's go. This song helped non-rappers with pronunciation. Oh my god. That sounds amazing. Okay. P31, 301, and 303. Get our hands full, so let's not waste any time. Among other things, we're looking after an old friend of mine today. She's in room P31. Please make sure she's looked after. But don't lose sight of your other responsibilities, okay? As always, I want to see impeccable results. Get to it. Alright. I thought these would be a pri I thought P was private rooms. Juliana! What are you doing here? Finley, my friend. Brought my mother here this morning. Introduce her. This is my mother, Irma. Good morning. Hello there. She collapsed on the sidewalk. Must have fainted or something. It's the first time this kind of thing's happened to her. So I figured we'd better get a specialist to check her out. Alright, I'll take a look. You hear that, Ma? Finley hasn't lived in Porcupine long, but I know him. He's a good kid and a great doctor. Well, I'm not a lucky one. Is there anything else I can do, Finley? Can you tell me anything else about what happened this morning? Oh yeah, let's see. Me and Ma wanted to meet up for breakfast. She wanted to enjoy the sunny morning and go for a walk. Yeah, the cow anatomy poster is amazing. She said it might be the last sunny day of the year. It's not far, but she seemed very tired when I saw her. We didn't even have time to say hello properly before her legs gave way. She couldn't stop coughing. So we came straight in. Shame I was looking forward to that breakfast. I was really craving French toast with applesauce. Ooh. It does sound good. And a nice strong black coffee. Thanks, Juliana. I think that'll do for now. Take a look at Irma. Okay. Ma, I'm gonna head off now. I'll be at Gilbert's. Let me know if you need anything, okay? I'll be fine, son. You should be worrying about that old pub of yours. Of ours, rather. I'll call you later. I like that. Why, right, Miss Decoma? How are you feeling today? Please call me Irma. I'm not one to stand on ceremony. All right, Irma, I'm Finley. That's a nice name. So how are you feeling? My lungs hurt more than I've ever felt before. That happens sometimes. Can you tell me again what happened this morning? I was on my way to see my son Giuliano. It was such a lovely morning. It felt like the last day of summer. Even though I can already smell the fall. Can you smell it too? Yes, me too. The trees are turning beautiful colors. After a few meters, my breathing got very heavy. Such a waste of the beautiful fall air. I couldn't really enjoy it. My breathing got faster and faster. 
I just reached the marketplace when I started feeling very dizzy. I felt sick. My legs gave way and I fell down onto the sidewalk. It made an awful racket. The window was shook in all the houses. Now I see. <clears throat> that reminds me of a great story, but maybe that can wait for another day. I'm rather exhausted. All right, Irma. I'll let you get some rest, but I'd like to make a few more notes on the diagnosis. Of course. The sooner we find a solution, the sooner I can get hold of my French toast. Now sit tight. We'll have you out of here in no time. Diagnosis. Find the correct combination of symbols. A blue mark indicates that you've got the right symbol, but in the wrong position. A green mark indicates that you've got the right symbol in the correct position. Every symbol will only appear once per combination. Oh. Oh, we're doing this? Okay. Alright. Blue is right symbol but wrong position. Green is right symbol in the right position. Okay. Let's go. These kind of games, I'm... Yo. I'm good. I'm good at them. I'm so good at them. Okay. Alright, so... Foot is correct. Two of these symbols are correct. But in the wrong position. Let's try without hand. I'm just amazing. So, we got that, no, that goes there, that stays there. So then that means hand is going to be the correct one then. Look at that. Look at that. Look, just... I forgot what the specific name for that kind of puzzle is, but whenever it shows up, I'm there. In Clubhouse Games, I'm good. In Bugs Bunny Lost in Time, level Train Your Brain, that little, like, match the colors thing, I'm good at that. Like, whenever that kind of puzzle is there, I'm there. I'm in it to win it. Hmm, I see. What do you see? The symptoms are relatively clear. I think it's early stage pneumonia. Ooh. Things don't seem so bad for now, but we'll keep it here as a precaution. Yes, yes, better safe than sorry, right? That's right. You're a nice young man. Glad you're my doctor. Thank you. I'll do my best to get you well again as soon as possible. I'll see you later, okay? Just call out if you need anything. <clears throat> Will do. Thank you. I mean, considering that's like the pooling of liquid in your lung, maybe don't call out for anything. But early stages means like, yeah, she should be fine. Finley, you got a minute? Sure, what can I do for you? I know she's in good hands with you. That's all I can ask for. We'll get Arma back on her feet. I know, I know. I'll head out then. Gotta finally reopen Gilbert's today. Don't take this personally. But I hate hospitals. The smell makes me anxious. I guess we'd better catch up at Gilbert's next time. Sure, come by any time. I will. Admittedly, I am kind of like desensitized to hospitals because of how often I would have to like go to one. Like, not like because I was sick or anything, but like just visiting family. I guess that means if I ever have to go into one for like a stay or a surgery, I probably won't have that anxiety because I'll just be like, yeah, this is fine. This is cool. It's quiet. Miss Martin, how are you feeling? I was up all night worrying again. I was thinking about my daughter, our argument. 
I'm the same when I can't sleep. I'll spend the whole night turning problems over in my mind. <laughs> Is your stomach any better at least? My stomach? Now you mention it. It is feeling better, yes. That's good to hear. Your trouble sleeping could be a side effect of your medication. I'll make some adjustments to your dosage. Alright. So four pills. I definitely want a minus blue in there. Maybe one more minus blue. Hmm. I need to get a minus red in there. Is there a minus green but a plus pink? Oh my god, he's done it. Making extra sure. So you're about to get some new drugs to help you sleep. We'll get the stomach ulcer under control. But to keep it that way, you need to avoid stress. That's easier said than done. I know. No, I'm glad you said that. Maybe that's what I needed to hear. I've known it for a long time, but now I really do need to look after myself more. But how? This pill you're about to take will send you to sleep for a little while. I'm sure you'll come up with new ideas and a fresh perspective when you wake up. Thanks, Doctor. Okay. Stethoscope. I, I'm not going to screw this one up. I'm not going to screw it up again. I'm not going to screw it up again. Hopefully. How are you today? Pretty chill, Doc. Just bored to death. I could barely sleep last night. Yeah, I get that. The nights can be long when you're in the hospital. Ain't that the truth? How's the cough? Much better. That's what I want to hear. I'll just give you a quick check over then, okay? Sure, you need me to do anything? That's what you're doing right now. That's plenty. Alright, let's look at your lungs. Don't you mean listen? What? You're just gonna listen to my lungs, right? Or are you gonna cut me open? I don't want people looking at my lungs. <laughs> that would be pretty bad, yes? Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just to turn a phrase. I'll only be listening to your lungs. Don't worry. Phew. Okay. Okay, that is way easier than I was expecting like, oh, I need to have like theater rhythm levels of perfection. No, that was just kind of easy. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> hmm. What is it, Doc? Your lungs haven't quite recovered fully yet. Is that bad? No, nothing to worry about. I think if you stay in bed all day and take it easy, we can send you home tomorrow. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah, I guess. I just wish I could have gone home today. I get that. But believe me, it's better if we keep you in just for one more day. And get your insurance money. I mean, make sure you're fine. Hello, Jonathan Rodriguez. 
Yeah, maybe you're right. Doc, can I tell you something? Sure, what is it? My cough was pretty bad last night. It kept me up all night. And it hurt a lot, too. It's good that you told me that, Larissa. You know, you can tell me anything, right? Believe me, I want to get you out of here as soon as possible, too. Okay, Doc. Thanks. Any tips for how to kill time around here? I have a TV in the break room. If you feel like it, you can sit down there and make yourself comfortable. We got tea and coffee, too. Wait, y'all have TVs in the patient rooms? Ew, coffee. That stuff's so bitter. But I'll take a look later. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Just one more day. We can do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what... <laughs> it's just a common thing, like, people earlier in the chat were saying, what I said, like, it's... This is really just Night in the Woods-esque. <laughs> I'm done, Dr. Krakowski. I can see that. Alright, then let's see what you've got for me. Hey, got an S grade and a smiley face. Yo. So far, there's less generational trauma than there was in <laughs> Night in the Woods, but this is a hospital game, so I have a feeling there might be some patient death in here. <laughs> and the fact that they brought up insurance a few times, we... I don't know, that's... Uh, uh, just pulling the collar they're like uh, uh. Uh, do you need anything else no thank you but the new patient what about her she's very friendly is that so old mr Kalma is very popular in porcupine i've known her for a long time too take good care of her Finley. you'll be in charge of her treatment but don't look like the others just because you think Mrs. DeCalm is nice. Personal consideration should never get in the way of your work. Even if you are absolute blah, blah blah blah. Even if you absolutely hate a person, always treat them to the best of your ability and understanding. Take a break now. In the meantime, I'll check on Mrs. DeCalma as well. Okay, thank you for placing your trust in me. Hmm. He looks so happy. Hey, Mia. Eric, are you okay? Are you done for the day? I'm double done. Tired? Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting used to the shift work. Tell me about it. Have you eaten today? Oh, how long? Yeah, I've been at this for, uh... Well, it was about to be three hours, actually. I started at six... 30 p.m. Eastern. It's like 9.26 right now. I usually do go about three hours or so. I'm just like essentially going to the next like break in the uh, action here. Have you eaten today? I'm so hungry. No, now you mention it. Have you ever been to the cafeteria? Not to eat, but maybe today is a good day to change that. I'd say it is. Let's do it. I hadn't realized how hungry I was until you mentioned it. Now I can't think of anything else. That's what we call a remote diagnosis. Shall we go? Yeah, before there's something left. Correct answer. Hurry up. My stomach's practically roaring with hunger. Is that even medically possible? I must hate you at the library. Finley. Right, all right, to the cafeteria. Okay. I forgot where the... Yeah, no, I am going in the opposite way. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by, both of y'all. But, yeah. I think I am going to call it a day. I have fun with this game.
link in the description or well in the pinned as well to check it out yeah it's really good you like small streamers thank you thank you the small streamer likes you too <laughs> yeah i've been at this for three hours so yeah i like them i too need to get some food for i am starving yeah um because of work stuff this is my last weekday stream of the week but i will be back on well saturday we're doing a special thing in my discord it's movie night um, we're going to be watching, uh, the, is it Rise of the Planet of the Apes or Dawn of the Planet of the Apes? It was like the first in the, uh, Planet of the Apes, um, remake trilogy that came out in like 2011, 2012. They're really good movies. <laughs> but yep, yeah, we're watching that and, uh... Wizard People Dear Reader, which was a drunk guy who had never seen or read Harry Potter, and he decided to do the story. And now that is my true, um, like, idea of what Harry Potter is now, because screw J.K. Rowling. <laughs> but, yeah, it's like, it's, it's hilarious, just... Hagar the Horrible picked up the baby and named him Harry. Like it's, it's so good. Funny you say that. Technically, tomatoes are on the menu. Uh, Mom made spaghetti. Yeah, tomato sauce is in it. It's good stuff, it's good stuff. But yeah, thanks for tuning into the stream, guys. I will be definitely be back with games uh next monday um but yeah like usually i close out a month with like special discord events like the movie night and game nights and stuff but yeah um what's that more games next monday this saturday is movie night in my discord Link down in the description if you want to join. It's always open. And, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for tuning in. Good night. I am starving. And yes, coffee is good. Very good. Though I put in way too much cream and sugar into my coffee, so it ends up looking like hot chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Right. Yep, good night.